<laughs> hey everyone, I'm Bill and I cook stuff. Today I am going to cook something special. I am going to use the broccolini. That's right, broccolini. The child of the gailan as well as the broccoli now known as broccolini. What I mean is it's a hybrid between uh, Chinese broccoli and Western broccoli. And what I'm gonna cook today, I will be cooking chicken and broccolini in white sauce. Yep, you heard it. Instead of chicken and broccoli that we know and love, we are, well, actually, I'm gonna be cooking chicken and broccolini in white sauce. So there's gonna be some ginger and some white pepper. Mm -mm -mm. So good, so good. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. Uh, very few ingredients, very quick to make. Uh, also great for meal prep, by the way. Great for meal prep, uh, which I actually will be doing. <laughs> All right, let's get to the prep area. And before that, sh show you the list of ingredients and then um, prep area. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> Hey everyone, here I am at the prep area. Here is a chicken breast. I actually have two, but I went ahead and pre-cut one. So it's about uh, three quarters of a pound to one pound of chicken breasts. And again, I pre-cut, so have a look. They're really small strips, so I will demonstrate, and then we'll get right into making the marinade. All right, so all I'm gonna do is, 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 is cut really, really thin strips. And you see, you wanna make sure your knife is is um, is sharp enough to cut. But also, one trick is you could put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes or so, and then cut from there. We'll cut after you take it out. But they're, again, they're really small strips, really thin strips, if you will. And I'll do one more, and... Okay, so the chicken has all been cut. As you can see, super thin strips. And let's go ahead and make the marinade. All right, so I'm gonna go by order, and I have my chicken. Uh, I have three tablespoons of water. There's the water. Next, I am going to put in the two tables, oh, excuse me, two teaspoons of cooking wine. Right there. Fine, well, not finally. Next, I am going to put the oyster sauce, one tablespoon, and right there, wanna make sure you get all of it. Okay, and then I'm gonna start mixing. I'm using a spoon right now, as you can see, but you can use your hands if you want, no problem there. Okay, so you just wanna mix it up, get it all in there, and then once we mix it for about 30 seconds or so, uh, I'm gonna put in the two teaspoons of starch. Do, 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 do. Again, right there, right there. And I'm just gonna mix it, make sure you get the starch all in. You know what? I'm gonna switch over to using my hands. Oh, snap! Ta-da! And my hands are clean. Oh, yes, make sure you clean your hands. You wash your hands thoroughly before you work with food. All right, so I'm just really gonna mix it around. I uh, give it about 30 seconds to 45 seconds. You wanna make sure all the ingredients mix, get mixed in well together, okay? And then the final ingredient for this marinade, and, and as you know, it's a really light marinade because we're making a uh, white sauce with this chicken and broccolini, and broccolini. So, here we go, uh-oh. And this is the cooking oil. I actually use avocado oil. Uh, vegetable oil is fine. It's, uh, I just put a table, oh, actually no, it's a teaspoon. Teaspoon, and you could add some white pepper at this stage if you like, uh, I'm not going to, or a little bit more of the oyster sauce as well. Okay, so here we have it. It is, uh, that's, uh, that's a super basic marinade, if you will. We're gonna set this aside while everything else is, is uh, being prepped. So I'm gonna cover this, put it in the fridge, and while I prep everything else. Okay, let's get, let's clean up a little bit, and let's get, uh, let's get the aromatics and the uh, vegetables, the broccolini chopped. All right, and of course there's a sauce. So, uh, I'm gonna clean up, put this away, and be right back. Okay, it's time to make the sauce. So, what do I have here? I have a 
half of a teaspoon of salt. Do, 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 do. Actually, I'm gonna just use that right there. Then I have a half of a teaspoon of white pepper. Do, 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 do. Right there. Okay. And then I'm actually going to put in three quarters of a cup or six ounces of low sodium chicken stock. You can use regular chicken stock as well. Slowly mix it. Probably should have got a bigger bowl. Yep, definitely should have. <laughs> All right, here we go. Just gently mixing it. Gently mixing it. Okay, then I'm going to slowly pour in a teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay. And then uh, here it is. Now, when, when we're preparing, when we're actually cooking, we're not going to just dump all of it in or pour all of it in. We're, we're slowly going to pour it in and just to see, um, you know, how thick you want it, okay? So you wanna be mindful of that. And I'm mixing it and mixing it. And then the final ingredient, I'm gonna put this to the side, is uh, just a, a couple slices of ginger, which I have here and Right there. And I'm gonna do two and just gently just cut it like that. Okay, so those are these tiny, tiny strips, as you can see. Tiny strips, tiny strips. All right, so um, put out that, put that in there, uh, and then give it a twirl, make sure it's nice and mixed. And that's our basic sauce. Ta-da! What, so easy. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside, and let's hop over to make the, or, well, since I'm cutting the ginger anyway, let's do the aromatics. What? Aromatics time? Yep, aromatics time. Oh, snap. All right, so I have another bowl, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, wow. All right, so I'll start with my ginger. Aromatics, it's just two slices, one. And if you don't like a lot of ginger, then don't use a lot of ginger. <laughs> uh, and then cut it, one, two. And slice again, slice. Of course, always be careful when you're using sharp objects. And here we go, boom, right there. That's the ginger, aromatics, boom. I have two cloves of, or is it two cloves? Yeah, two cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna slice, 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 slice. Ah, careful, careful, careful. And then I'm just gonna chop, 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 chop. Uh, so you can mince it. Uh, my, my knife skills, as you can see, aren't great. Okay, and there we go. Aromatics part two, part two. And the final piece for, the pound piece, but the final ingredient for the aromatic, of course, is the green onion. Doo -doo -doo. What? So here we go, boop. Chop off the edge, and chop off the tops as well. And then all we're gonna have to do, we're only gonna use the, uh, the white parts right here, okay? So, Slice, 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 slice. At the top we're gonna use for garnish for later on. Slice, and that's it. So that is our aromatic, if you will. Okay, to do. So wow, that was really quick. Ta-da, two things, right? Okay, okay. Uh, so the last step, of course, is the broccolini. So let's get that broccolini. Broccolini, broccolini. All right, here I have my broccolini, broccolini. All right, so again, broccolini is a cross between Chinese broccoli and Western broccoli, okay? So I have a bunch here, they, they're sold in bunches and we need about four cups. So the best way to do it is you need to top the, chop the, 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 the bottom ends anyway. So measure two, two inches up, boop, boop, boop. And then that's the stuff we don't need. And all you have to have this. And all you have to do is chop in one inch there, one inch there, and ta-da, you have your four cups. What? So easy. Yes, and of course, I already had rinsed and watched this. That's the broccolini. Broccolini, four cups. Four cups of broccolini. All right, the very, very, very last step is a quick slurry. So we are going to just take a, what are we going to take? A... Well, not A, but, well actually I guess it is A. A teaspoon of starch, and then three tablespoons of water. I ran out of bowls, so pour in to make our slurry, and then mix well. 
That is very tinkly. Okay, so there you have it. So what do we have? All right, so we have our broccoli all cuts. We have the sauce, aromatics, and then the chicken being marinated. And we have the slurry. Okay, so you can take this time to clean up, get your garnish, garnish prepped. Um, you know, I'm actually gonna clean up a little bit, and then we can uh, start cooking. Oh snap, start cooking. Okay, here I am in the kitchen. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on high heat. Okay, that's high heat. And then I'm going to put my aromatics in. Boo -boo -boo. Stir it, get the oil going all over the place. Like that, so it doesn't take, doesn't need long. Okay, so while the aromatics are going, I am going to put, start putting my chicken in. What? You know, the pan hot. Make sure the oil's all like, swell spread. Otherwise, the chicken may stick. Okay, so, just gonna put that in there. Ah! Okay, that is a lot of chicken. You probably should have done a little bit. Uh, doing a little bit. <laughs> All right, so just gonna move the chicken around. Uh, just make sure I get the oil on the chicken. And move it around. And move it. And then, so the other thing I'm going to do is take a half a cup of water and pour that in in a second. Okay. All right, so, so still on high heat, okay? And just wanna make sure I just move the chicken, and of course you can use a, um, a spatula, I'm using chopsticks here. And, and move it over. Uh, oh wow, it smells good. And move it, move it. What I'm trying to do is, is, is making sure I spread the chicken so all the, it's, uh, so it goes from pink to uh, that opaque white, if you will. Okay. And again, it's only going to take a second. Woo. All right. So that's where we are. Again. And a cup for two. All right. All right. It's getting there. It is getting there. The thing is, you want to make sure you cook your chicken, you know, like by the end of the dish, it's very cooked thoroughly. <laughs> All right, so here we go. You see, it's it's uh, quite a few, quite a bit of it is, is opaque white. Okay. And that is looking great. Smelling great. This is uh, getting a really good arm, forearm workout here. Okay. Look at that. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is pour in uh, some water. And you can watch out for the steam. Okay, so be very careful here. And just move that around. Uh, may not actually need the whole four ounces, uh, but we shall see. And again, it depends on your, 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 your stove top as well. Uh, okay. The reason why I'm doing this is actually to, to help the chicken stay moist, because uh, as we know, chicken breast can can end up dry. Okay, and then so okay, so it will evaporate. It's not a big deal. And put actually, I'm going to put the rest in. Boop. There we go. Okay, so it's, it almost has a soupy soupy look to it. That's okay, because the next thing we're going to do is put in our broccolini. What? Broccolini? Yeah. Yep. Broccolini. And I'm going to move broccolini around. And I just, like, one just flew off. That's okay. <laughs> move it broccolini broccolini around. All right, so while that is, again, still on high heat, while that is cooking, I am going to take, going to take my sauce and make sure you stir it a little bit. Boop, 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 boop. And just gently pour half of it in. Okay, I did a little more than half. That's okay, too. Okay? So I actually did like three quarters. 
and just going to move it around. So now it has this, uh, now it's, it's really soupy. That's okay, because quite a bit of it works back into evaporates as we cook, because uh, it will take a minute. Mm -hmm. Moving it around, moving it. Look at that, okay. So here at this stage, actually, um, what, what I'm doing is moving so this, moving around so the sauce gets quite into it, if you will. And then I'm going to pour the rest in. Ta-da, that's the sauce. And of course, uh, you know, you can salt to taste. It, it's gonna look very soupy, that's okay. Uh, again, just be mindful of the of your, uh, your furnace. And, and again, when I poured it in the water, you can actually have done a little bit less. Um, that's okay too. So it really depends on how tender you want your broccolini to be. Okay, so there you go. So I'm gonna look, let it cook for a few minutes and I'm just gonna watch it uh, and really keeping an eye on how tender I want my broccolini. So uh, that's the indicator right there. So if you like it more tender, then of course cook it longer. Uh, and if you don't, cook it less long. So uh, of course moving it around and all the while being mindful that uh, that the chicken is being cooked. Wow, look at that. So the final step, which we haven't gotten to yet, is the slurry. I'm really looking to to have the sauce, or you know, this the sauce now uh, reduced down. Okay, and then you'll have a nice uh, clear slot, a uh, small, <laughs> a clear sauce. Uh, when everything's said and done, okay? So we're gonna give it about, about, about a few minutes, so, so maybe three or so, and then, you know, just watching the level of the sauce. Now, if it's almost drying out, and see, I have quite a bit here uh, on, on this section right there, uh, that's okay. And if it dries, uh, if, you, if you're concerned it's gonna dry out, you just add some more chicken broth, okay? Uh, or, and, and potentially lower your heat as well. All right, so we're just gonna give this another two minutes and I'll be right back. All right, so it's been about two minutes or so. Uh, time to turn off the heat and let it sit for a few and then uh, plate. See you at the plating area. See you at the plating area. Wow, look at that, looks great. Looks great. See you at the plating area. Okay, everyone, here I am at the plating area. Look at that, what? Chicken and broccolini in white sauce. What? All right, so I'm gonna plate. Uh, be careful. I'm gonna plate. I'm not gonna plate all of it because it is very hot and I have very delicate hands. <laughs> well, maybe I'll put a plate. Uh, there we go. There we go. And then actually, the sauce is nice, and it's uh, more of a wet sauce, so a wet, a wet sauce than uh, like a gravy, if you will. Okay. So there you have it. Chicken and broccolini. Yep, I said it. Chicken and broccolini in white sauce. Check that out. Wow. Can we taste this? So yummy and so healthy. What? So, again, just saying, there's a bit of variation, of course. You know, your cooking time can vary, so be mindful of that. Um, and you, you know, you can use more or less chicken or broccoli or bro Ooh, I almost said broccoli. It's broccolini. Um, I can, I can definitely smell the ginger, the white pepper, and this is great. It goes great with rice. Uh, so if you want a healthy dish, it, uh, this is way to do it. I guess it's like, almost like, you know, the cousin chicken and broccoli. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's get to the, uh, let's get to some tasting. Oh snap, let's do that. And of course, a tasting and, what do we have? Tasting and, 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 and drum roll. Dad joke, all right, all right. That, that wasn't that big of a <laughs> deal. All right, let's, uh, let's get some tasting done. Cool beans, see you soon. Hey, okay. Wow, that was like very loud. <laughs> all right, so here I am about to taste the chicken and broccolini in white sauce. Uh, it looks amazing and smells great. Okay, but before that, I want to get into a dad joke. So, why couldn't the bicycle stand up? Hmm, 
Hmm, why couldn't it? Because it was too tired. <laughs> That's actually a kind of silly one. <laughs> All right, so, um, oh, I'm touching my nose. Yes, you know, I'm human. And where was I? Oh, yeah. So, uh, about to taste it, and want to mention, uh, so there's variation, for example, using, instead of chopping at like the, the two inch mark like I did with the broccolini, you could done at the one inch mark to get rid of the ends, and then had more of the stem, the broccolini stem. Bro I just really like saying broccolini. And in terms of when I add water, so, you know, some folks like a thicker, um, a thicker sauce. So, you know, you can keep it that way and just be mindful of adding additional, um, additional starch to your slurry when you pour it in so it becomes thicker, if you will. Okay, so mine is a little bit on the runny or watery side, but it's okay. It's actually quite a bit of the, um, of, of the sauce. All right, so here we go. I got my chopsticks and I have my chicken and broccolini, which I am slowly going to my face. Uh, kids don't try this at home. And just going to grab a piece of chicken. Whoop. Um, mmm, wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, really good. Mmm, -hmm. that's really, really good. Mmm, 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 mmm. I can really taste, I always use a big mouthful. I, I can really taste the, the flavors melding, if you will. It's like a mind melt, right? Um, the, 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 the white pepper doesn't overpower. The ginger is just the right amount to, to get that nice gingery flavor, if you will. Uh, really, really well balanced. It's going to be great over rice. Anyway, I uh, hope you liked this um, this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to finish my lunch. Peace. Peace. <laughs>